Hey everybody, this is part two. Sorry about that. I got a phone call, so I had to, you know, sorry. But yeah, the whole objective of NAM and the shit they got going on in the Middle East now, it's been going on for damn near 20 years. Like Jimmy Dore says, two more years and you get a gold watch for your retirement. It's a little uh, cop joke because he was from a family of cops. But yeah, and um, all the shit in the Middle East. The whole goal, first of all, the Saudis, they pretty much, you know, and, and Israel, uh, they're on our team or whatever. But eventually, you really honestly think America's greed, the people who run, run America now, they're not going to be running it much longer. The powers that be are, um, they're going to have to resign themselves to the fact that uh, you got to... You gotta find a new paradigm. Because this shit's nuts. <laughs> and Trump's insane. And he's driving all the people that are still supporting him insane. Man, you guys are really nuts. If, it's, if, if you're still supporting this bastard at this point, you really got your head up your ass. And I say that with no shame and no judgment. That's just a fact. I'm sorry. Truth hurts. I was watching CNN today, and there was all these women, or not all these women, but they were talking, or was it CNN and MSNBC? It's one of those fucking, you know, those shit, they're stoking the flames. I mean, they're reporting on it, but don't watch the news all the time. It'll drive you nuts. But they had these women on there, or they were talking about these women that were Republicans that are no longer Trump supporters, but and uh, now they're independents. But their husbands are still Trump supporters. Well, to those women, I say, divorce your fucking piece of shit husband. He's not worthy of you. You know, a lot of these middle-aged men, what happens to them, this is some Freudian psychology kind of uh, school of thought. Never underestimate how much the male is wrapped up psychologically in his penis and his balls. Uh, when those middle-aged, ego-led people, the, the far-right people, the men, they're led by ego, fear, and anger, right? That's their mo- That's what motivates them. They have other things that are in their life, love and happiness and joy, maybe, kindness. You know, that is a factor in their life. But th- what they're governed by, what they act on, what they vote on, what they support is based on fear, anger. Uh, that's why you're on the fucking dark path. Yet, they're not worthy of you. Leave your husbands. You're not going to find, like, true love with them. You're just going to find, like, bullshit patterns of behavior that are tolerable. When men get in the middle age and their dick stops working and they have to start taking Viagra and shit, and the the ego-led men... They're all ego and no heart, or they're not enough heart. They let their ego dominate. Therefore, they're governed by fear, anger, and hatred. When these middle-aged right-wing people, men, uh, when they get into the late 50s, 60s, you know, their penis stops getting hard naturally, and they have to start taking the Viagra and shit, their ego goes into this state of, like, id, like Freudian id, like, just base animal impulse shit. Because they feel like they've lost their manhood. Because they can't get their dick hard naturally anymore. So they feel like they're not a man anymore. That's probably what happened to that fucking bomber douche. That's probably why he started doing all the steroids and started doing a huge... That fucker with the van and all that shit. That piece of shit. That, it's probably why he... That's probably what happened to him. His, he couldn't get his dick hard anymore, so then he got all jacked on steroids and shit. You see his pictures, he's like a fucking steroid d- d- bodybuilder dude. A lot of those bodybuilder dudes, they get obsessed with huge fucking muscles and shit, drive the big fucking trucks with the jacked up shit. They got small dicks, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, they, they, get, they compensate. So a lot of these middle-aged fuckers, like they're too worn out and broken down and shit, from f- bad health choices, bad... Ways of living to uh, get jacked muscle man, right? 
So they just turn their hatred towards the world because they're led by their ego because they're crushed because their dick doesn't work anymore. So then they get more fucking hateful. Dick fear. <laughs> it reminds me of a lot of the George Carlin's bit, bits. Like, of course, like it's the war is the unconscious desire to project the penis into other people's affairs. And that's why all the bombs and all the bullets and all the shit are shaped like dicks. And it's called fucking with people. <laughs> but there's a way out of this. It's simple. It's simple. You were all born with it. It's the heart of a child. Compassion, joy, kindness, beauty, fearlessness. Find it. Tired of waiting. How much longer? Wake up. How much longer? Trump's in decline. The archangels have drawn up this column of all those who have been killed by evil and now they're coming they're coming for you all all you dark hearts all you people that your column of negative outweighs your column of positive and you mostly just cause suffering in your life they're coming for you all the dark hearts that have upheld the legacy of that evil shit that has governed our world for far too long those those people that are holding up that fucking legacy that standard that paradigm all the energies, all the Native Americans for the, for the American evil politicians, all the Native American spirits, all the African American spirits, all the spirits of all the innocent people that died in all the fucking wars. You people that are still holding that shit up, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. The archangels are bringing their energy and they're bringing justice. They're bringing Sodom and Gomorrah to your mind not our society to your minds it's going to be an internal apocalypse in your own head because you serve the beast and now the chickens are coming home to roost the archangels are bringing all the souls the Indians the Native Americans the African American slaves the people of the wars that died unjustly, the innocents that died in the wars, they're coming. They're coming for you all. And they're going to get you too. They're going to drive you nuts. It reminds me of that uh, scene in the movie Ghost. Where Sam Wheat, where, where that Willie guy who killed Sam Wheat, like finally meets, meets his justice. And then all of a sudden, Willie's there standing and he sees Sam Wheat. He's like, you're dead, Willie. And then you see the little black, little, the, the, the energies come around like, making that kind of sound like, and they just harness onto his like energy, right? And they just drag his ass into hell. And he's like, ah, yeah, it's going to be like that. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Ego. Sold your soul. Sold your soul for a little change. Can't take it with you, bitch. Good luck with that. They're coming. <laughs>